Hey guys, just before we get started with the review, I joined a trend and made a Kofi account. So if you would like to support me on Kofi and buy me a coffee, uh, you can head on over to Kofi.com/zeromaster. Anyways, on to the video. Kid Trip is an endless runner available for Nintendo Switch, 3DS, and iOS made by Michael Burns and Four Horses. It's a high difficulty but short and sweet endless runner platformer that I recently got on sale for the Switch for $2. So how does it stack up? I'll admit, I'm not a huge fan of the endless runner genre. There's a few games I've played such as the Bit Trip series and Sonic Dash, but it's very much a samey feeling formula. Much like the abundance as tough as ball slash puzzle platformers or roguelikes, the genre is oversaturated and gives me a sense of, oh, it's one of those games. I'll admit full well I'm more of an action platformer guy, Mega Man, Mario, Sonic, Donkey Kong Country, it's just a genre more suited to my taste, and I wish more game developers would make those kind of platformers over making games in these overplayed genres. However, the promise of HD Rumble support for the Switch and a free demo to try it out piqued my interest, so I downloaded the demo and gave it a shot. I did not expect to have as much fun with this game as I did. Like I said before, the inclusion of HD Rumble was a big selling point for me. As much like the fantastic Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap remake, it uses the feature well, making you feel every jump, landing, and enemy encounter, whether that be bashing them over the head or colliding on impact. Some may call it a gimmick, but I call it immersion, making me wish more and more that Nintendo would hurry up and get a VR headset on the market already. Could you imagine using the HD Rumble and the Joy-Cons for VR games? That would be insane! Anyways, back to the game. Kid Trip is your typical endless runner affair with a few notable improvements that many games of the genre lack. First and foremost, like other games in the genre, you are automatically moving from left to right with your main inputs being jumping and throwing rocks to attack. Some other notable controls include the ability to walk, something that many runner games do not offer. It's very well executed here as you will need to constantly adjust your speed to make some jumps and pass certain obstacles. On top of that, the jump isn't just as simple as tapping the jump button. You need to hold it down longer for higher jumps, but also make shorter jumps or use enemies as bouncing off points. The game consists of 20 levels, so it's not a super long game, but considering it started as an iOS game, I'm not surprised. By the nature of this game, you'll want to play it for small or quick bursts, much as I did. I was playing this game when I was waiting for videos to render, in the waiting room when getting my car e-tested, and yes, even while on the toilet. One other thing that is nice about the Nintendo Switch version is it gives you the opportunity to play in either handheld or console mode, meaning I was able to play it while capturing this footage. Needless to say, this game offers a lot of ways to enjoy it, but I personally recommend the Switch version for both the HD Rumble and options of portability and couch play. The game's only real drawbacks are in its difficulty and presentation. The game includes one-hit deaths and is designed to hurt you plenty. Of course, this is a tactic used by many games in the genre, but it's worth mentioning as it could detract some players. That being said, the game does offer multiple paths and multiple ways to overcome each stage's obstacles. Not to mention, Unlimited continues at the cost of losing all your coins, but unless you care about your high score, that's not a huge trade-off. The game uses the 8-bit style that's very popular with indie games. My main problem with it is it looks generic. So many games these days offer a similar visual style, but very few do something interesting with it, and sadly, Kid Trip does not do much with its visuals. Like many games, it seems just fine trying to make it look like a Mario clone, even when it isn't. Right down to our character's red cap, red shirt, blue jeans, and the collectible being coins, where if you get 100 of them, you get a free life. However, the game does try to change things up by adding in an ice stage with interesting physics and minecart sections just in time to trigger Donkey Kong Country flashbacks. Honestly, the worst part I'd have to say is the sound. The music is okay enough, catchy and upbeat, but then there are some tracks that are, let's just say, mildly annoying. I know it's going for that retro aesthetic, but could we pull back the high notes and repeating chiptune melodies and add something that's less insanity inducing? That being said, it does fit with the fast pace and risky tone of the game. The sound effects are generic and uninspired. I swear I've heard these exact sounds in other games. The death and coin sounds are the exact same ones used in many of Freak Zone's games, who also ironically have an endless runner game called Night Terrors that I kind of want. Overall, audio is kind of weak in this one. Kid Trip is a fun, short game that I'm sure retro fans, indie fans, and mobile gamers will get a kick out of. While it's currently on sale as part of Nintendo's Summer Sale, it's also on the iOS for a buck, so it's not like it's an expensive game. I don't blame you if you'd rather play this type of game on a more portable system like the 3DS, but I can't recommend this enough for the Nintendo Switch. Not just for the option of both portability and a home console experience, but for the added immersion that the HD Rumble provides. 
I know some of you might be detracted by the game's length, but there's good news. A sequel to the game was released last month called Miles and Kilo, which not only offers a ton more levels, variety in level design, playability, and now with boss battles, but it's available on more platforms, with this being available on Steam in addition to the Switch, 3DS, and iOS versions. Either way, I've been Zero, and I'll see you on the next Quick Hunts. Hey guys, thanks for watching this review. I know I said the Mega Man 8 video would be my next review, but I just wanted to get out one more quick video before it to fill the gap. Don't worry, it's coming. Hey guys, just before we get to the video, I want to let you all know I'll be at YomaCon 2018 this year from November 1st to the 4th, the Kobo Center and Detroit Marriott at the Renaissance Center. I'll be there with Blonde Gang the 4th. I'll see you there. Anyways, on to the video. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon is a Castlevania-style side-scroller platformer from the mind of Koji Igarashi. It is the prequel to Artplay's successfully funded Metroidvania Kickstarter game Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. The game was offered as a bonus for Kickstarter backers of the Ritual of the Night campaign, and also available to everyone else on PC, PS4, Xbox One, Vita, 3DS, and Nintendo Switch for $9.99 US, a la Mighty Gunvolt. So how does this prequel appetizer game stack up? Curse of the Moon stars Zongetsu. No, not that Zongetsu. He's a man who's been cursed by demons and makes it his goal to slay them. He wields his faithful sword, Zangetsuto, a demon-slaying blade. Along his journey, he finds companions such as Miriam, the star of Ritual of the Night and the Belmont-like character. She uses a whip as her main weapon, can slide on the ground like Mega Man, and can jump to greater heights. Alfred is a powerful alchemist with low health and incredible magic, much like Sypha from Castlevania III. Finally, there's Gabelle, the totally not Alucard clone who attacks with bats and can even turn into one to fly over certain obstacles and reach certain objects. Oh sorry, he's not a vampire, he just has a lot of shards implanted into him. Like I said before, this game is very much like classic Castlevania, most resembling Castlevania 3. It is so refreshing to see a standard platforming action game that isn't a roguelike or metroidvania. Now the main game, Ritual of the Night, is a Metroidvania, but the developers probably felt making this game a retro-style throwback in the same genre would be too daunting, and I think it's better for it. But this game is more than just a throwback. Fans of classic Vania will notice similarities such as knockbacks when getting hit, the stiff arc jumping, the ability to switch characters on the fly, and many of the enemies have similar patterns to classic Castlevania enemies. The game also offers several sub-weapons, and these are unique to each character. Zongetsu has the good old ball and chain, which can attack in an upward diagonal motion, the magic charms, which is basically this game's holy water, and demon essence, which powers up Zongetsu to for a short period of time. On top of that, Zongetsu has some special abilities such as Crescent Moon, an arching downward slash attack, and Blood Moon, which is a spinning double jump, and New Moon, a quick dash. Miriam has daggers, which is the equivalent of Castlevania's knife, rapiers, which shoot three shots in an upper diagonal motion, and reminds me of Blade Man's weapon from Mega Man 10, the axe, which is a short ranged attack that deals massive damage, and the sickle, which attacks in a boomerang motion, much like the cross from Castlevania. Alfred uses magic instead of sub weapons, such as the Burning Sphere, which is a shield weapon, Frost Caliber, which fires a giant ice sword, Soul Vision, which calls it a short range doppelganger, much like x 4s Soul Body, and Voltiac Ray, which is his strongest spell that uses an electric orb to attack enemies around the screen, kind of like Yamcha's Spirit Ball. Gabel has no sub-weapons, instead he has the ability to turn into a bat, has a dashing attack, and can speed fly to reach greater heights, all for the price of weapon points. When starting up Curse of the Moon, you are given the option to play on Veteran or Casual. Veteran basically is Castlevania 3 mode, where you deal with all the same limitations as that game. Casual mode removes the fallback when taking hits, and gives unlimited lives and continues. The game does offer opportunities to increase a character's health or weapon points, most of which are found by reaching certain areas or secret areas with a certain character's abilities. If you miss an upgrade, you can always go back to the previous levels to collect them again. Honestly, the game is not too difficult. However, with my lack of experience in the Castlevania series, I've only beaten Super Castlevania 4 and that was with rewinds from the SNES Classic, I played on casual. There is no difference in ending on completion, except maybe for a few achievements. One thing to note is if a character dies, they will only be revived once you complete the current level or lose all your characters. So just because you're on casual doesn't mean you can take it easy. Once you completed the game, you get a very interesting new game plus known as Nightmare Mode, but I won't spoil it here. The only complaint I have gameplay-wise is that some sections of the game require you to have a certain character still available. Not a deal breaker, but it's kind of annoying. 
The game goes for an 8-bit style, much like the classic Vania games, but it does take some liberties with those limitations. For instance, the sprite work is in an 8-bit style with much more color, though they do try to keep some things in check by making each character a primary color. Sprites for some enemies and bosses do go outside the limitations, but that's not uncommon in many retro throwbacks. The music for the most part follows the NES limitations, but does incorporate some additional layers, much like how the Famicom Disk System version of Castlevania 3 includes FM synth sounds in addition to the Famicom sound chip. Sound effects are about the same, however the sound a character makes when getting hit is a sound sample, but it is in full quality to sound more natural. Overall, the sound and visuals are very well done, and I love the game's aesthetic. All in all, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon is a fantastic game. I was very impressed with how full of a game it is for the price. Comparing it to other appetizer games like Mighty Gunvolt, it offers a lot for something that's meant as just a cute prequel game. If you're in the Halloween spirit and you're a fan of classic Vania games, this one is a must play, and at 10 bucks you get way more than you pay for. That's all for this Quick Hunts, see you next time. Hey guys. hey guys, just before the video, I'm going to tell you about Uphold. Uphold is the service that takes care of downloading that. Uphold usually looks very brave. On to the video. Night Terrors is the latest game from Freak Zone Games, the creators of Manos the Hands of Fate the game, and AVGN Adventures. It is a mix between an endless runner and a roguelite action game, and where you need to make your way through several horror-themed levels by slaying enemies and dodging obstacles to gain points to reach higher levels. Where this game differs from others in those genres is with the variety it offers with several different modes of play. First, there is normal mode. It follows the rules where you slay enemies and dodge obstacles to get points, however there are a few differences. For one, unlike most endless runners, you actually have a health meter, so you can take up to three hits. The enemies are randomized to a point where the further you get, the more random it becomes. At the top, there's a progress bar for how many points you have, which blinks when you're one enemy away from passing a stage, and a meter for how many enemies have passed by. If you run out of health or let three enemies pass you, it's game over. However, the progress and enemies miss bars will reset after each level. Once you've made it past level six in normal mode, that will unlock flight terrors mode. This mode is basically like Flappy Bird. Let me explain. The entire time the ground is spiked, so you have to constantly press the jump button to flap your wings to avoid touching the ground. This mode features a ton more obstacles to pass through. You still have three hearts to start off with, however the progress and missed enemies bar are gone, as this mode is only used to score points. Getting 50,000 points in Flight Terrors, you'll unlock Endless Night Mode. This is exactly like it sounds like, an endless mode where you play through stages similar to normal mode except with no progress bar, meaning for the entire run your missed enemies bar does not reset, so you can only let a total of 3 enemies be missed the entire run. At first I thought hitting the 100,000 points threshold to unlock the next mode would be impossible here, but I ended up doing it in my first attempt, so I guess it's not as bad as I thought, or I'm just that good, but probably not that. After gaining that 100,000 points, K-Type mode is unlocked. Referential name aside, K-Type is like a mix of normal and flight night modes, with the addition of throwing daggers to make it more like a shoot 'em up game. Like I said, being a mix of the two previous modes meant the progress and enemies miss bars are back, as well as the constant flight due to spikes in the ground. This mode is quite challenging and took a lot of my gameplay time. For real, it took me several hours before I was able to unlock the last mode. Finally, we have Nightmare Mode. This mode is similar to Endless Mode, except you only get one hit point and you can't miss any enemies. I can only get a few levels before failing, but this could also be because I was fatigued from a solid 2 hours of playing K-Type mode trying to unlock Nightmare. The game contains a variety of enemies that change and increase as you progress through each mode. First off, there's zombies, which aimlessly walk around the ground, bats that fly in a straight line and look cracked out, floating skulls which fly in a W pattern, UFOs that jitter up and down the screen, ghosts that randomly appear at the worst times, and Jing Shi which jump up and down. Other than enemies, you also have obstacles to deal with, such as ground spikes and logs with pointy ends. The height of the logs vary, and in later stages, they move up and down. Luckily, the game has plenty of unlockable power-ups. 
Power-ups can be found during gameplay, such as the health recovery hearts. However, reaching certain point thresholds will add more power-ups to the game, such as the throwing axe of despair, which throws in an arc like a certain other game's axe weapon, the stick of returning, a boomerang-style weapon, the health expander, which fully restores your health and adds an extra heart to your life bar, the spike ball, which is a spiky metal ball that'll bounce on the ground, and the spirit Nashwan, which unleashes all the weapon power-ups at once for 10 seconds. After unlocking, these power-ups appear randomly as you play through the levels. The weapon power-ups, with the exception of the spirit of Nashwan, are lost once you are hit, and any life power-ups are reset after each playthrough. The visuals go for an 8-bit aesthetic that feel like a mix of NES and ZX Spectrum. The sprites are fairly chunky, something that wasn't as common on home consoles, but home computers at the time would do. So it's a good mix of styles. However, like many retro throwbacks, it does not stay within these limits. But that's totally fine by me. Much like the graphics, the sound also follows the same aesthetics. The sound and music are both authentic, but much like the visuals, they are not hampered by the same limitations. The lazy part is the sound effects, which, like I mentioned in my Kid Trip review, are sourced from other Freak Zone games, such as AVGN Adventures. This isn't really a negative, but it's something that's very much noticeable. I also have a few gripes. First off, the controls are pretty bad. What I mean by this is that the controls are placed in a very mobile-like fashion. For starters, you can control this game a various amount of ways. The way the game recommends is using L to jump and R to attack. This works for both bumpers and Z triggers. You can also use Y to jump and A to attack. Which brings me to my issue. The controls are backwards. Having the L and R setup reminds me of the screen button similar to Target Acquired. However, for side-scrolling games, I prefer to use face buttons, and sadly, it's nearly impossible to play this game with them. Making Y the jump button goes against everything I know as a gamer, as everyone knows the jump button is usually to the right or the bottom, not the left. On top of this, there's no way to change the controls, and actually, there's barely any game settings whatsoever. This is something that is unacceptable in 2018. We should have full control to adjust the controls any way we want, yet many developers don't offer that as an option, and it's games like Night Terrors which show how bad this can be. Like I said, I got used to the LNR setup, but many times I took hits because my hands kept getting tired. Also, it was very hard for me to differentiate LNR presses. Ever tried playing drums, but you can't seem to get your right foot and your right arm to do different timings? That is my issue with the LNR setup, and why K-Type mode took me so long to pass, because I had to synchronize my button presses, and that just isn't effective for a game like this. If this were the PC version, worst case scenario, I could always use Joy to Key, but on console, there's no way to change the controls. Bottom line, let me map my own controls. For what it's worth, Night Terrors is a fun and addicting game. Its expansion on the endless runner and roguelike genres is admirable, and I had less of a problem with the quirks of these genres here than I did in other games. While the main gameplay can get repetitive, the plethora of additional modes of play expands what otherwise would be a fairly one-note game. Just be aware of the lackluster controls. If you're like me and you've been skeptical of games like this, Night Terrors is one I certainly recommend, as it breaks the mold that many games of a similar nature fail to achieve. That's all for this edition of Quick Hunts. See you next time. Hey guys, sorry about the wait there. Also, Xeno Thorium, thank you for following two days ago. Hi Paris, how are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, pull myself up. Hi. <laughs> are you gonna play some more Mega Man or? <laughs> Mario RPG, not Mega Man RPG. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? It's just fine because it's been a... Yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Work was really busy. I'm so tired. I just want to chill and play this game with y'all. So, we're going to get comfy. I'm going to play the game. Put this over here. Switch over to my stream screen. And unmute the game. Okay.
Here I know the bit this. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get comfy too. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys don't mind if I get a little comfy in here. <laughs> okay. Alright. Come on, Mario. Uh okay. Can you guys hear the game okay? Okay, let's see. Gino needs to level up a little bit, but that's fine. We've got our we got our triple attack now, which is good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I just like jumping on beds. What can I say? Thank you, Paris, for reminding everybody to wash their hands. I don't think the weapon chop has anything worth a damn here. Hi, hon. How are you? I'm just playing some Mario, just chilling out and playing some Mario. You're yes you are. I'm 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 doing alright, I'm just tired and want to do some chill some chill Mario tonight. Let's mm. Not Roseway. All right, let's go to Pipe Vault. Ah. This is the remake. Babe, the original was a Super Nintendo game. I mean, it looked too good for a Super Nintendo game. Ow! Sab! But... Okay, we gotta fight the fireball. Damn, I do a lot of damage. 34. Ah, I've been chipified. Don't look at my skirt. Or do. Alright. Oops. Oops. I think I specifically remember seeing this part in the TV commercial. And that's when I knew I wanted the game. That's when I begged my parents for it. <laughs> nice. Defense up. All right. Got him. All right. You look my skirt? Yeah, I bet you do. Okay, I'm in the collab chat in my chat in my server, Tina. Oh. You should be able to get in. If you can't, just let me know. Sorry if I'm kind of low energy, guys. I'm really tired. Oh god, Fragog. Fragog. It's a Fragog. Oh, I got a Dragian. Okay. No, wait. I'll just 
Let's give you rights. Come on. Where are you? Let's give you access to it. Because if I drag you in, it's going to mess up the whole thing. Uh, let's see. Where's... Um, members. Here we go. I trust you. All right, you should be able to get in now. Hello? Hi, cutie. Oh god, my headset cut out. One sec. Oh no! The technical <laughs> difficulties! Ah. Okay, there we go. Hi. Hi. How are you, hon? What do you mean your headset cut out? Are you on VR? No, my... I have wireless headphones, and sometimes they oh, cut okay, out. Okay. Okay. How are you, hon? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm just having dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you having? A salad. A salad. Yeah. What kind of salad? A uh, salad with ranch. <laughs> I approve. We love ranch in this house. The absolute most basic salad I could make. Because I am a picky eater. <laughs> I am too with some things. Mm -hmm. Like, like if something has corn baked into it, I can't eat it because the corn juices get everywhere. That's fair. That's fair. Tim, Tim you, you, you made it. A... Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, but you give me corn with mashed potatoes? Mmm, delicious. Ugh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> like, I like corn. Especially corn on the cob, but, but not mixed with other things. That's why I can't eat shepherd's pie. And fucking... Tim Hortons came out with these new wraps. They look delicious, but the package that... I asked, can I get it with that corn? They're like, no, the, uh, the, the stuff for it comes all packaged together. I'm like... Oh. Sad. Why? Sad. Why would they do that to me? To me specifically? <laughs> I put connected images. Where is it? I'm just gonna move you around here. Where are we? Where? Where? I need to clean up my shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need to do. Okay. What? What? Are, what are you holding? Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm supposed. To, that's supposed to be me as a uh, as a cosplay of Sanai from. Uh... From uh, Toho. Ah, okay. At first, I thought it was a knife, and I'm like, "That's not a knife. This yeah. is a knife." <laughs> oh, I love how you're just in time for me to fight the frog. The frog is what it's the called. The frog. Frog. Oh, that dude's a special enemy. Yeah, I gotta get rid of these things first. Got him. Wow, that frog went down fast. Dead. <laughs> not as not as powerful as you. I'm too strong. Wow. That was a special enemy for a frog coin and I beat it in two hits. I'm too strong. It's so true. I can hang out for like about an hour and then I am going to be hopping into VR chat. Okay, no problem. There's an e uh, there's a there's an emo night uh, rave an, going on. An emo night. Yeah, so there's going to be DJs playing emo music. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. I wish I could go, but I have to work tomorrow. Sag. Because I actually know a lot of music of that genre, especially Midwest stuff. Mm -hmm. That's fair. In fact, I was listening to some uh, Camping in Alaska on the ride home today. Mm-hmm. I love those guys. I don't know if I've ever heard of them. They're not as... They're not as sad as, like, other Midwest bands. They're more mm -hmm. angry. Sure. And they kind of became a punk band after their first album, which is why... that Which makes total sense. But that first mm -hmm. album of theirs is just... Mwah, it's just perfect. It's called Please Be Nice. If you ever want to see it. 
So good. I could I could talk about music forever. Music is so magical. It is it very magical. Has been a very good source of healing for me. Same. Like I have been going to a lot of VR chat raves. I've been going I, I ended up going to some raves while I was at TwitchCon. Um like it's just it's been it's been really magical. It's been a very good experience. I wish I, wish I could could have gone to TwitchCon this year. It sounded like fun, but Probably next year, because I actually have something to do in the area at the same time, around the same time, so. You absolutely should. We can, uh, we can go together. Yeah, it'd be fun. Because I, I'm, I am definitely going, but I will probably be going out. To, I, like, I'll probably be going to TwitchCon mostly for food. You know, because uh, me and the uh, group of friends that I go with, we uh, call it food con more than anything. Oh my god, I love Gino's little jig. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet because I just got him. That's me when I'm dancing. <laughs> just, is that gonna be you? Is that you when you're raving? Just step yeah. to the left, step to the right. Yeah. To the left, to the... <laughs> oh, man. But... No, I definitely full send a bit harder than that. But it is... It's 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 been a lot of fun. It's been a very magical experience. Uh, TwitchCon's gonna be in Ohio this year. Uh, that is speculation currently. Is it? That's, yeah, that's... N it has... It does not have a official confirmation. Well, I hope uh, it happens in Ohio. It would be nice if it happened in Ohio, because I've got a lot of friends in Ohio that I could stay with. Same. You know what they say, That's... Ohio is for lovers. It, it is a very gay state. You know, like, most of my... most of my gay friends live there. Yeah. It's so. also where the, uh... where the friggin', um... What are their names? The the douche tubers come from. The douche tubers. I don't remember their names. Um, I can't think of their names right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> so we had a... The 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 Pauls. Yes, the Pauls. I don't think I know them. Jake Paul. Logan. Oh, Paul. okay. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, babe, I... you definitely know them. I could definitely have gone my entire life without knowing that they lived. Oh my god! Gino's dead! Dead. Uh oh. Um, I need to use an item. I need to pick me up. Uh, Come on, I'm freebie? right here. Yes! It's got a freebie. Uh, no, not that one. <laughs> No, don't turn me into a scarecrow. Cacom, motherfucker! Ohio's on the almost on the other side of the country for me. That's understandable. Yeah. I mean, like I I live in Colorado, so it's it's not close to me by any means. It's like that's understandable. Speaking of Colorado, I ended up actually meeting another person in VR chat who lives like five nice. minutes walking distance from me. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, they're uh, they're one of the DJs that I know. They uh, right. they had a really good set last night. I I was full sending. It was so good. You're Peter so reasons, good. I believe. That's understandable. I've had a lot of friends who used to live here that have moved. One of the, uh, one of the older members of one of the stream teams I'm a part of used to live here. They moved to Texas. I think I know who. Yeah, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Why can't I use the triple move? What the hell? They had me howling. It was a grand old time. I heard. 
<laughs> oh, no. But... Sometimes I think you want to please people too much. A little bit. A little bit. I am a bit of a people pleaser, that's for sure. The port frog. But a lot of that... Yeah, but a lot of that has... A lot of that comes from low self-esteem and confidence. Like, a, a lot of it just comes from the... Lack... Like, it, it comes from the want of feeling accepted. Like, I'm, I'm never doing enough for people. You do too much, honestly. But you say you, you say that, but very few people ever reach out to me. Very few people talk to me. I'm I, I'm just bad at it, and I'm I, I, I'm not even blaming you. Like I'm not even blaming you. I know. Like, you can call yourself out on that if you want to, but like I'm not even I'm like I'm not even. It's not even in regards to you. Like there there are people that I do a lot for and literally just give me the most half-assed responses if I DM them. And then I just stop talking to them. Because I have way cooler people to pay attention to, like you. Oh, shut up. No, make me. You know I can. I know. That's why I said it. Still not dead? Okay, there we go. There we go, got him. Those special enemies, I tell you what. I'll tell you what. And I I have been hardcore loving the uh, One Piece card game. It's so oh. good. Oh yeah? It's so good. You're so good. Yeah, you're so good. No you. Oh wow. Uh... <laughs> Yo, that's splash damage, though. Good old splash damage. I think you're amazing. I think you are prodigious. Did you quote Digimon? No. Oh. Prodigious is an actual term. Oh, I thought it was something Izzy made up. <laughs> <clears throat> oh I mean, yeah. I'm sh I'm sure that I've heard Izzy say prodigious at some point. But it is like an actual English word. I love how fucking Mallow throws hands. Real. It's mm -hmm. like lemme at him. <laughs> Mario's just doing a jig. Real. Oh, that's quite a boost, okay. But Maybe yeah, prodi Prodigious means, like, amazing or exuberant, you know, like, it, like it's synonymous with amazing. Okay, so it's not a computer pun like I thought it was. No. Like, it, 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 it's like the word prodigy. It comes from the term prodigy. Prodigious, prodigious means to be like a prodigy. Oh. I guess I never put two and two together. Yeah. Now I can drink water. Hey Tina. You? Did I ever tell you how awesome you are? I think I don't ever I don't know I don't ever think I've ever heard you tell me that I'm amazing. Not once. You're amazing. You're the best. Oh <gasps> really? A hundred percent. And if anybody says otherwise, I'll fight them. That's very sweet of you. That means it. To me. Just shut up. You're good to me. I am. I'm. I'm just a frog. <laughs> the best frog. <laughs> They're in sync. I remember NSYNC. It was a good boy band back in the they day. They sure were. I'm so sad that they fell off. It 
bands. They were very good at what they did. I mean, every boy band falls off eventually. True. You know, I have to go for the 69 health. It's nice. Hey. We take those. Ah, this Goomba went up my butt. Hey, yo. So many of these sewer levels. Ugh. Yeah. No, Mario, don't fall asleep. They made a new song and it's in the troll movie. That's fantastic. Oh, I can remember God. hearing about that. That's so good. I love that for them. I'm also really happy that Backstreet Boys got a cameo in uh, that one movie with uh, Seth Rogen and uh, whatever their other names were. Oh, yeah, I love that one. It was a very funny movie. I, just ah, don't yeah. I just I can't remember that recall the name of it. That's fair. Yeah, this is the end. Oh, that's what I thought it was, but I That's what I thought it was, but I didn't want to say it and look like a fool. you send me? Oh. oh my goodness. I'm gonna listen to this instinct song later. Let's go. Let's go. No, no. Stop eating my money. The ghost. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, it'll just be fucking money, of course. No. I'm not gonna waste my time getting money for money. Seems like a good idea to me. Oh, he needed that. I love that this game does that. It's like, oh, is your character low on health? Well, you killed this enemy, so HP max. Oh, there's a hidden treasure here. No, don't save yet. I need to get the treasure first. I can feel it. Don't you feel this, pet scrub? Yo, what? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, goodness. I know where this is because I've gotten it before, but I just don't want to waste time. That is so understandable. Oh, I missed three hidden treasures already. Wow. Imagine missing treasures at some age. Are you trying to 100% this game? No, I'm just trying to get all the treasures. Okay, that's fair. Just so I don't have to deal with the BS with it later. Yeah, that's understandable. It's a frog coin. Okay, I'm gonna save. Let's go with some E coin. Yeah. Yoster Isle, that's what this is called. Okay, let's see if I can go back and get the thing I 
missed. No, no, no. Stop it. Oh, wow, I screwed that up. Like another frog coin I missed too. Dang, I missed a lot of stuff. Uh, some ink. Scribble move time. Star Riders. I love that they added this. Yo, that's so cool, actually. Probably over to a, one enemy, but that's that's such a cool like cutscene for the move. Honestly, they're all like surfing on like rainbows. Mm -hmm. No. Leapy bomb. Hello. I feel like somebody used a sleepy bomb on me. Real talk though. But it has been such a sleepy day. It has been really. I've just been so like work was really busy, but I also was like feeling really tired part way through. I'm like, oh, I just want this day to end. Yeah. But that's I really like... The... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, that's why I like going to, like, raves and stuff. Like, I may be tired, but then I get there, and just the music just fills me with so much energy. Like, I'm just... I go from feeling like an absolute like, dead... dead frog to just being like, let's go. This... Like, it's- it's so healing. Sorry, I love music too much. <laughs> I love music too, it's the... It's the, um... It's good for the soul. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if I can get 30, 20 points here. Wow, I'm bad at this. Come on. Oh, I missed the gold one. Wow, I'm bad at this. Okay, let's round two. You got this. That someone believes in me. No! I will no! always believe in you. <laughs> this does seem very difficult. It's hard because it's not straight on controls either. Yeah, no. Oh my goodness, those things go fast. You have to be ready for them. Damn it. Ah! Oof. I've done this oh, before. Oh, close. Ugh. I only got nine. I have to get 20. Let me try one more time. Gross. Now that sounds very difficult. 
Thing is, you gotta try and get the gold ones. Get off rhythm just a little bit it screws you up too. Oh, absolutely. Oh, 14. Almost there. I can do this. How many coins do I have? 800. I'm good. I can afford to do this a few more times. Oh, I overshot it. Damn. No. Wow, what am I doing? You're doing your best, sweetie, and that's all that matters. Doing my best. <laughs> that's all, right. all that matters. Wow, that's this sucks. Damn Seems it. really tough. Ah! Wow. Okay. I'm done. I I I I, I did enough. <laughs> Put this one. Put this one. There we go. I'm gonna down this one. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Got that one. frog coin there I need to get. Go get it. I can't leave that frog coin. Get the me coins. Oh. Wait, how am I... How do I get that? I have no idea how you guess how you're supposed to get that. I'll come back for it. Makes sense to me. It makes sense to me, but unfortunately I don't have any change. <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> I like to think I'm good at jokes. Like, like being Krama good at jokes calling me stuff. out and saying I'm bad at jokes. Nah, you're not bad at jokes. Krama just like Krama just has a stick up their butt sometimes. <laughs> sometimes she does. She also sure. just is tired of my shit and my puns, so that's probably part of it. Being tired of puns, man, not a pun enjoyer. That's me. She is not. At least not mine. I guess just make better puns. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just realized she retweeted this, so there's a good chance that she's lurking and hearing us talking <laughs> mad shit. It's okay. I'll talk mad shit with you. Oh god, I hate this so much. <laughs> I hate the Yoshi race. Yoshi race, you. So I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just gonna walk by. Sorry, that's all you get at Yoster Island. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind. Wait, what's to the. Moleville? I gotta go to Moleville now. 
seems like a problem you're gonna have to dig your way out of. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Babe, what the fuck? Get punned on. <laughs> Oh, really? There's none of these in Mall Town? Huh. Let's see what they got for items. Let's see. Mid Mushrooms. Ooh. Well, first let's see what they got for weapons. Punch Glove, which would be good for Mario. Symbols, good for you. And Finger Shot, you're already equipped. Okay. What about clothes? Mega Shirt, Mega Pants. Work oh my god. Work pants is good for everybody. And then mega cape. Get that punch glove. Let's go to symbols. Buy some mid mushrooms while we're at it. They're pretty mid, but I'll get some. They're pretty mid. Maple syrup. You know, I've got a pretty good joke. What? Did you know that in the UK they don't have kidney banks? They don't have what? Kidney banks? I don't know what that is. Where, where you donate your kidney. A kidney bank. That's a thing? I thought it was just an organ donor. Well, yeah. Where, where do you think they store that stuff? I guess. Yeah, but so in, so in the UK, they don't have a kidney bank. But they do have a liver pool. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a Liverpool here in um, in Ontario. Yeah, I know, yeah. Blondie. Rip Yoshi's cookies. <laughs> Your eye twitch from that. <laughs> <laughs> good. I'm glad I could help you. I'm glad that I could help you with your daily intake of dad jokes. There goes Bowser. Back at it again with the white vans. What a chad. You know, Mario's always got to help people. Jeez. But it's fun. It's true. Alright. It's true! No, oh, Dale. I should probably, before I go in there, I should heal up. Heal up and hit the gym with me. Oh, whoa. <laughs> There's this clip on the Game Chasers where the gaming historian says, Oil up and hit the gym with me. Raid me, daddy. Sounds like some body bu uh, bodybuilding bullshit. <laughs> Night, man. Thank you for the raid, my dude. How are you doing? Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. Nightman a shout out and see what Nightman was doing. What was Nightman doing? More Fatal Frame Maiden of the Black Water. Oh, you must be getting close to finishing that game. I saw it. Oh, you just beat it? Congratulations. <coughs> Excuse me. I should drink some water. How would you rate it? I've only played one Fatal Frame myself. 
and that's the first one. Eight out of ten. No, you gotta go ten out of ten. <laughs> Alright. In we go. Into the mine shaft. I love what, how well they converted this Super Nintendo game into a 3D chibi game. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I like the style. Like they did this, and then they did the earlier. They did the uh, the diamonded pearl remakes. Mm -hmm. Did that kind of similar style. I like it. I sure have heard the news. Of course I'll help. I can't progress the game if I don't. Hop on their shoulders, eh? Alright, here we go. Oh no, it's Rockington. Rock Rockington. Oh no! It's two Starmies! Yo, Starmies, let's go. Oh, I screwed that up, but I still beat him. Not used to their new weapons yet. Oh, I got a pick-me-up. Nice. Magmite? Not a Magnemite. Oh, I got it. Screw that up. Ow! Her, her children flung her at me! This to be a good year to be a Mario fan. We got Wonder RPG Remake and Thousand Year Door release. Well, Thousand Year Door comes out at the start of next year, but. Ugh. I know what you mean, Nightman. Double our coins. Okay, let's do it. Alright, I'm good at this. Where's the Yashi? Yes! Got it. Yay, I get four coins instead of two. So many more coins. I'm gonna take it the Babon first. Right. Double your XP? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I did it. A hey, 10 XP is pretty good. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, damn it. Crystal. Damn. Here we got a triple move. Let's do it. Star Riders against this special enemy. Oh, we get a frog coin. Yeah, I got so many frog coins. What do I do with all these? Uh, so you can turn them in to receive frog favors. I got a lot of frog favors to redeem. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Ow. Wow, this thing only takes a little bit of damage. Choose Geno B and see what happens. Oh. What the hell? Oh, that killed it though. Oh, right. That one's not a tap. You have to hold it. Oh, we just doubled the frog coins too. That would have been sick. Well, at least that toad's honest. I do like honest toads. He's like, if there's apparently rare treasures in here, I'm gonna, if I find them, I'm gonna sell them for money. Okay. You do that, bud. Left for treasure, right <laughs> for adventure. Left for treasure. Surprised by the lack of hidden blocks in here. I'll throw my coins. Man, I'm getting a lot of these. They keep being the middle one, too. Uh. You're not falling asleep over there, are you? Me? No. Yeah. No. Just making sure. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm doing Gucci. How Gucci? Uh, I'm doing pretty Gucci. It's been a, been a good day. Yeah. Today has been a day of all days. I'm glad. I can hang out for Damn it. 10 more minutes. Okay. First time I got that wrong, damn. Dang, imagine picking the wrong egg. You never do that. I could never. I'm too good. I am purely you're... just too good at everything I do. You're pretty good, to be honest. I'm glad you agree with me. <laughs> of course I agree. <laughs> You're the best, and if any, again, if anybody says otherwise, I'll fight them. The best around. Pretty much. All right, I gotta give a mushroom to Mario. Need some of that mush in his face. You are a rock. That bomb. Okay. Yes, let's try this again. What the fuck is that?
It's got to be some kind of D and D monster or something. Probably just straight up misses. <laughs> what? It is simply an enigma. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Why is you, why are you hiding behind a sign? Oh god. To lure you in. There's a trap. seen a D and D monster look like that before. It kinda reminded me of a holder. Of a what? A beholder. Oh okay, a beholder. Okay, makes sense. Ba Oh look, you found it. Wow, 36 coins, damn. You know, it's got the 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 floating it's a floating meatball. <laughs> Don't question me, Beals. Swear. Oh, this is a special enemy. I should probably use this. What makes it special? Uh, if you defeat it, you get an item, usually a frog coin. Okay, but how do you know that it's special? It it tells you. The game tells you. Oh, okay. I'm trying to... It said special enemy over his head. Wow! Our ultimate attack didn't kill it, finish it off. I that did. Good thing you used it. Just Dude. barely enough. I guess that's a good thing you did it. Yeah. Far right. 36, damn. <laughs> You're a little delayed. I know hey. I'm a little delayed, but... Tina leveled up. Time for us to do a jig. Woo! Wow, he got quite a level up. Geno boost. Ooh, that's a good move. Uh, oh, his HP goes up quite a bit. Yeah, I gotta do HP, I think. Mm. Worth. Alright, I'm gonna drink some water. Of course, I get into another battle. Immediately. Immediately, yeah. All right. What about you, buddy? There we go. <laughs> Double coins, why not?
Gotta get rid of these bombs. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Some days you just can't get a bomb. Oh, fire boy. Come back, fire boy. Wow, I missed. Oh, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. No. My timing just got worse. What the hell? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Rockington, come here. Oh, he's a special one. Ooh. Okay, time for some Geno Bean. Frog coin. Hey, well, XP. Um, from a wood to ginger ale. This will be worth it. Okay, do it. A tie. Damn it. Gotta go find a bomb. Okay. Get a bomb. It's almost time for you to go, isn't it? Yeah, I need to go here. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. And thank you for having me on. I know I haven't been super talkative. I'm just super low energy it's, right now. It's, it's, tell me about it. <laughs> I, I honestly like two low energy people is probably better than one right theoretically yeah I just wanted to talk to you <laughs> no well you know that's a very good excuse <laughs> because and I'm never awesome. opposed to uh, you're awesome shut up you're awesome no, you're awesome I love you I love you too mm. Right. Right. I'll see you later. I'll see you later, hon. Have fun at your rave. Oh, my night. Nini. He seems nice. I like Tina. Oh, I have messages. Okay. I'm gonna go for the guy in the back. Oh no, he's a special enemy. Wow, I screwed that up. Ah. Uh. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Got him. All right. Frog coin. Yeah. Double XP? I'll do it. Come on. Got it. Yeah. Because I got 20 XP. Enough for Mario to level up. 
Look at him dance. Mars level 10. All right. Damn. Super fireball. Wow. Four. I can go up one of that or I can go up one of that. I'm going to go for the four. Okay, there's a special enemy here as well. I'm just going to use Geno Beam and get it over with. Right. Yelled yeah, them my coins. Man, I'm getting a lot of these. It's a good farming spot, I guess. I think it's this one. Yes, okay. Ooh, Mel leveled up. Nice. Yeah! Level 10. Ooh, new move Shocker. The Shocker. I gotta go for HP. It's such a high amount. Does HP get healed up? Yes, he does. Okay, cool. So that was perfect timing. I can't do that. Damn. I guess I gotta... Well. Good night, Mario. Coins! Beautiful coins! Grab the coins! Listen up! Let's leave this hat with Mario here and split! Anyone got beef with that? That son of a bitch. Mario, Croc got us again! He took our coins, too. Let's chase him down and get them back. Did he get all of our coins? He took all of our fucking coins! What a dick face. Oh boy, looks like a dead end here, but not to worry. I've got a bomb. Never leave home without him. I dropped some frames earlier. Shit. Double coins, I'll do it. Got it. Knew it. Yeshi. All right. Lucky. Gauge up. Nice. Alright. Double coins? Yes. Got it right. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Fireball, I'll fight you too. Oh, it's a special enemy, too. Okay. She's a triple move on the special enemy. Six hundred and four damage. Damn. Awesome. Yeah. All right, got to pick me up. <laughs> oh, 
can get these crooks. Oh, I screwed that up. Ah! All right. 14 experience, wow. That's quite a bit. Oh, so you just wait, I'll get you this time. Maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, but someday. You didn't have any coins on anybody. Drop the fire tap. I'll take that. Anyway, I'll get you for this. Maybe not the name of somebody. Maybe quite the way. Drop the flower tab. Alright. Gotcha, bitch. Fuck, let's keep that up. Once again? Alright. Fuck, I missed. Oh, I screwed that up. Could have gotten all three of them. Damn. A lot of flower tabs I'm getting. Hmm. Where those bitches go? Need a bomb for that. Couldn't have possibly gone back up here, did they? No. On the door, Mario. Where the hell did they go? It's gone up here. What is he? It's gone the other way. Damn it, where could he have gone? He didn't go back here, did he? Hmm. 
No, I don't think so. Guess you just gotta find him in here. There he is. Got him. Alright, Croco, you're going down this time. Want them back? You gotta take me down first. Alright, fine. You asked for it. Do you know beam time? Ouch, enough already. Here's your junk. I'm out of here. Went to that and picked up a micro bomb. Bomb, now we bust through in no time. Alright. Alright, stand back. Alright. So it tracks to the end. What? The stars probably be back in the rest of you. Alright, just be weird on the phone. Okay. 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 Oh, damn it. Okay. Guys, real quick, I need to use the bathroom, so I will be right back.
I am back. Ah, when my vision dragon decides it wants to catch up. Matt. Matt. Really? Really, you're doing this right now? Okay. It's better. Back. Okay. Uh. Mm. One sec. Oh, if I get double experience, that'll get Jim to the next level. Probably not gonna happen though. No. Of course, it didn't give me the option. Worse with Gino, damn. What? Gino should have leveled up. Oh. Hey. Yeah, it's level nine. Oh, that's quite an attack boost. I'm going to take that. Yeah. Is there something I missed over here? Oh, it's the minecart. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Ah, uh, damn it. Do I have to? Oh, no. Okay. It's way back up. I want to explore a little more before I do the minecart. I mean, I'm just thrilled about the minecart that's actually fun in this game. It's not like it is in Danky King. Got it. Well, I screwed that up. Well, it did one damage. What was I worried about? What? I dropped like 2,000 frames? What's going on here? Damn. I didn't realize I dropped so many frames. Alright. Rose Town. Oh, get that. How do I get that? Oh, I got it. Oh, I haven't done the carts yet. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do the carts first. That's the boss. That's the boss. Oh, 
Oh, I can't do it yet. I guess I gotta beat the Baos first. It's been a while. It's been six years since I last played this game. And I've only beaten it once. Uh, the Super Nintendo version I've beaten. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, wings are coming back to haunt me, except I didn't have wings tonight. I had a... Uh, I had a Mexican wrap and uh, chicken bites. Dab, how dare you boop me? Boss time. Day, the name's Punchinello, bomb maker extraordinaire. Punchinello never heard of you. They say I'm a hothead, but I'll show them. You, you will make me famous. So long. All right, this is a triple move. It's so well with this music too. Da 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 Not bad, not bad. Now let me level things up. Okay. Let's see. Shock and enemy hit A just bolt lands. Thunderbolt. Okay. Got them all, yeah. Sure. All right, you asked for it. Wow. Mr. Dreamin', I'm ruined. I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice. I think he's bluffing. Simmer down, Fluffy. I'm not gonna waste this on you. Who knows what might happen? Take your best shot. Enough! I've got my pride. Now you're in for it. 
Huh? What the hey? Why isn't it working? <laughs> Mario! This thing explodes for history! This is a fine mess. Let's cram now! Eep! It's gonna blow! No! Damn. And then they all died. The end. <laughs> what on earth was that? Uh. Not clop, clip. Battle now, I hope we don't lose the war. We are Dinah, Might, and the Star. Oh, this just kind of falls down. That's that part's answered. Bob, are you hurry? All right, folks, that's three stars down. Only four to go. Oh, we still gotta f we'll have to find Dinah and Might. Let's do it. Ah, this won't budge. I hate this stupid thing. Help me here. Give me my minecart to push. Of course. Minecart guidelines. Press A to break. Press B to jump. Get my shoot to press X to accelerate. Okay. My little safety board. Yeah, minecart ride. Yippee, this is going to be fun. break. Minute three. Oh god, now this is Donkey Kong Country.
in the platforming segment. Yeah. Odd feeling they would be dropping in. Yeah, uh, yep. So you don't know, now nestle down. Um, oh. they do these dripping in us. They're calling babies. Mate, are you hurt? No, we're okay, ma. It's right, buddy. Mama, papa. It's the doc says, you poor baby, you're safe now. Yeah, how are you doing enough to have a guy to buy for you? It's enough, Ma. Just be happy to have him back. We have to thank Mario properly, either. There's Mario. We can't thank you enough for everything. Is this the roof you say? Nah, it don't matter. I'm right, Pa? Ain't nothing at all. You leave any repairs to me. Give me a holler if you need a hand with your place. Thanks again for bringing the ba babies back to us. You found Dinah, Might, and a star piece, but where's Peach? That's the six million dollar question that Mario's been asking himself. You're back, Mr. Beal! No, no, it's Booster's place. Yeah, I don't run away, we just want to play, we'll take good care of you. Uh, like, what they said, okay, Mr. Beetle? Good old Sniffets. Do you need to return that beetle? It's a present for Booster. That's right, just hand it over nice and easy. Yeah, like they said, it won't be your friend. Booster really, really likes his beetles. Of course he does. But he can't catch his own. That's right, he's busy keeping the princess from the sky entertained. We're catching beetles for him. Hand it over. That's right. Uh, pretty please? No, it's getting away. Quick, catch it. Catch it! Be free, my beetle friend. What are you doing over here? You pretend so, would you let? Sure. I'll give you a shiny stone. Okay, I gotta bring your fireworks. I need to go to the id. I think. No, everyone's good. Actually, the save points are there, though. <laughs> Alright. So, oh, Mulville. Okay. Were there secret treasures in there I missed? I need to check real quick. One sec, guys. No, there weren't any in there, I guess. I only really summoned Booster Pass. Um, let's see. Okay, it's past my bedtime. It's, uh... It's almost been two hours, though. Uh... Ugh. All right, I'm tired. Saved. That's gonna have to do it for me, guys, because it's past my bedtime. I am dead tired. I'm ready to go to bed. Um, but no, yeah, I'm have I'm really enjoying playing through this again, especially in a new way. I'm gonna probably play more of this on Monday. 
Tomorrow, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm probably gonna do Ghostbusters, but I'm like, I, I don't know. We'll see. I will announce what I'm gonna do. You guys will see. And then Wednesday, Ted and I are gonna try to go through 20XX again, uh, provided he feels okay. He's been a little sick, so. Um. Yeah, that's really it for now. Um. Can't think of anything else to uh, mention here. Um. Yeah, so I can think of, oh, um, I don't know what we're doing Saturday yet. We'll figure it out. Um, guys, I'm so tired. I, I was tired when I started to get tired now, but, uh, I wanted to play a little bit of this. Because I like this game a lot, and I wanted to play some for you guys. Um, but anyways, let me find someone to raid, and then I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. I am just exhausted. Let's see. Twitter. Who's live? Let's see. Melody doing art. Rosie Company. Rosie Art. Jerry's doing Super Mario Maker because it's Mario Maker Monday for him. Opobo's doing art. A lot of artists tonight. MB Live's doing Mario RPG. Alright, he's doing like a Dragon Gaiden. Ooh, owls on doing art. Ooh. And some echoes doing Banjo Kazooie. Um. I want to see what kind of art owls doing. Ooh, fancy. She's doing the chippy model tonight. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's raid owl. You guys want to go see some arts? Yeah, I know you do. All right, guys. You know the drill, but in case you don't, that is okay, because I am going to uh, tell you about it. So here's our raid message. If you are subbed, if you're not, that's totally fine. You don't have to be subbed. But I have a raid message for you instead, and that is this one right here. Um, you can follow my... You can join my Discord over here. We are doing Toka Tuesday tomorrow night. We're watching two more episodes of Kira Major, the Gem and Diamond Sentai with imagination. Um, let's find my social medias here. My YouTube channel's here with new vids up here and more to come soon. And guys, if you know a content creator or you are one, you can join 16-Bit Winter and join in the fun. Once again, read message if you're subbed. If you're not, you can use this one instead. Um, Alright, guys. Go say hi to Al for me. I am going to get ready for bed. As always, take care. Comb your hair. Ain't no rush. Use a brush. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. Eat your teeth. See you next time on Cheat. Go say hi to Al for me. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Hopefully. Unless I'm really tired again, in which I might take a break. But we'll see. All right, guys. Let's head out now. This raid's about to happen. Bye. 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 I usually always speed through everything, but I've, like, really taken my time with this. And I don't know if that's necessarily a good or...